Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Flask WTF with Flask uploads. So someone asked me this question, how to get them to work together, because normally with extensions in their documentation, you see the example using just the extension and nothing else. So when it comes time to combine extensions, sometimes it can be a little tricky. So in this video, I'll help you uh, get over any uncertainty that you have when it comes to integrating both of these libraries. So WTF for the form and Flask uploads to save an image or any other file uploaded by the form. So the first thing I need to do is install everything. So uh, what I'll do is I'll start up my virtual environment and I will install uh, Flask, Flask WTF and Flask uploads. And I'll wait for all of that to install. Okay, now that it's installed, I will go ahead and create an app.py file. I'll put everything in one file for this, at least all of the Python code. So what I need to do first is import from Flask. So from Flask, import Flask, capital F. I'll also use render template. And then I'll instantiate the Flask app. So that part is done. And I'll create a route that's going to hold everything. So it's just going to be on the index, and I'll call it index. And for now, it's going to be uh, ready and I'll set the environment down here to be uh, flask let's see flask uh, env equals development and now when I run the app I should see ready when I go to the URL which is exactly what I see so ready so the next thing I need to do is I need to bring in Flask WTF. So that's going to be the library that I work with first. I'm going to create a form that has one field. It's just going to be a field to upload a file. In this example, it's going to be an image. And then uh, I'll display it to the screen. So the first thing I need to do is import. Uh, so from Flask underscore WTF, import Flask form. And also from WT forms, I need to import something called the file field. Now, as you can imagine, this field is for handling files. So because I want to combine this with Flask uploads, I need a file first, and then I can pass that to Flask uploads so it can be saved somewhere in my directory or elsewhere on the machine that my app is running. So now I want to create the form, and I'll just call this my form. Keep it simple. It's going to inherit from Flask form. And next, what I want to do is just create a single field for the file field. So I'll just call this image. So file field, and the name will be image as well. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and instantiate that inside of my route. So form equals uh, my form. Don't need to pass anything to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to render a template, uh, index.html, and it's also going to take in the form. So of course I need to create this index.html. So that's what I'll do now. So I'll make a directory, we'll say templates, and I'll create a file called uh, template slash index.html. This is where I'm going to put the form. So I've just created a simple HTML file. I don't need to uh, edit anything in the head section. And I'll create a form. So the method's going to be post. Uh, the action is going to be the same route, so I'm not going to put the action, but you could put the action if you want it. And because this is a form that has an image, I need to uh, make sure I have the proper encoding. So multi-part encoding. So the encode type will be multi-part slash form data, just like that. And next, inside of the form, I know I'll need the uh, cross-site request forgery token from WT Forms, so form.csrf token, just like that. And then I can also add the field, so form.image, because that's what I name my one field that I have in my form, image. And then finally, I want to submit this. So uh, we'll just say button type submit, and we'll say upload. All right, so if I run this again, I should be able to see the form over here and I get a key error. Let's see. We have, uh, we're missing the um, secret key because I'm using the cross site request forgery co token. I need a secret key. So we'll just add that here. So secret key, and that's going to be equal to um, 
this is a secret. Obviously, you don't want something that simple, but for demonstration purposes, I just need any secret key. And now when I refresh, I see I have the uh, image upload here in addition to an upload button. So now what I'll do is I'll upload an image. So I believe I have an image of a cute cat photo and I'll upload it and I see method not allowed. So to get around that, what I need to do is have methods here. It's going to be equal both get and post. So now if I refresh, or I'll actually just reload the page and upload that same photo, uh, we see I get a post request down here, but of course nothing happens because I haven't done anything with that image. So what I want to do now is in the case of the post request, so I'll say if a request.method, or actually I don't even need that, uh, if form dot uh, validate on submit. So this one will check to see if it's a post request. Uh, what I can do is I can say uh, print a uh, form dot image dot data. So we should see it in the console here when I upload. So now I'll upload that same cat photo. And now I see down here, I get a file storage object. So cute cat photo dot JPEG. And it tells me the content type is image slash JPEG. Okay, so now that we have the form working and we can actually submit a file, let's go ahead and bring in Flask uploads to save this file to the file system. So first we need to bring in the imports from Flask uploads. So from Flask uploads, we're going to import uh, configure uploads. We're going to import the images, which is just a list of image extensions. And we're going to import upload set. So upload set just like that. Okay, so that should be it for the imports. Now I want to configure the directory for the images. So I'll say um, uploaded images destination. And this is where Flask upload will put all of the images that I upload. So images will be the name of the upload set that I create. So I'm going to put this in a directory called upload slash images and of course if I have more I could have more subdirectories but for this simple example I'll just have one directory called images then I need to create an upload set so I'll call this images equals uh, upload set and it takes in a name and then the list of file extensions so images and I need to configure that so configure uploads and that takes in the app and the upload set, just like that. So the last thing I need to do is actually save this. So what I can do is images.save, and I can pass the image here, which is a file object, to images.save. And what I can do is I can call this file name. So what it's going to do is it's going to save the image and it's going to return the file name. And what I'll do is I'll simply return uh, whatever the file name is. So we'll say file name and then a uh, file name here. So that should be it. What I'm looking to do is upload the image and then see it in the directory. So I'll upload the cute cat photo again, hit upload. And we see the file name cutecatphoto.jpg, so everything looks good there. And if I go over here to the uploads directory and I click on the images, I see cute cat photo here. So I was able to integrate both Flask WTF and Flask uploads to uh, take an image from a form and save it to your file system using a Flask uploads. So this is a very simple overview of what needs to be done in Flask WTF and Flask Upload. So if you're interested in learning more about those, I'll post links to both the videos that I've covered uh, for both of those extensions. And also I will post links to the documentation for both. And I also have a course called the Flask Extensions course where I cover uh, multiple Flask extensions in more detail. So if you're interested in seeing those, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out that course. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. 
So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.